Welcome back to Dainy Crafters. In today's tutorial, we'll be making chip bags using QR codes. All of the things that we use in this project will be linked in the description box below. Please stay tuned. So to get started, you will need three sections. You will need a center section, a left side, and a right side. To do that, you'll go to shapes, you'll insert a square, and you can change the color of the square by changing it from a cut to going to fill into a print image. So you change it from a cut to a print image. You click on that, you go to color. You can either choose a color or a pattern. You can select a pattern from all of these. And it'll change that background. Or you can have the background and that you're going to use that from your Google search and you cleaned up your image and you uploaded it and all that. And you can just use that image for your background. So for this particular chip bag, that's what we're going to do. We're going to use this image for our background. So let's get rid of this square. We don't need it anymore. So for our center piece which is the front part of the chip bags we're going to go to size and we're going to change the size to 4.577 and we're going to change the height to 6.75 so this is the front of the chip bag so for the left side and for the right side we're going to need a additional background so let's just duplicate the front cover and change the size to 2.36 and the height to 6.75 lock it and we're going to have our right side now we're going to duplicate that and there's our left side now this client wanted something totally different and I thought that was very unique she said she wanted to be different. She was turning 30 and she wanted to have something, a cute party favors. I was like, let's do popular music plaque. Let's turn that music plaque into a chip bag. So this is the plaque that I created. We're going to go to arrange, center front. This is the plaque. If you want a detailed tutorial on how I made this plaque, check out my other videos. I show you how I get the QR code and this QR code will actually play this song by Janae Echo. So we're going to size this chip bag cover to where it's almost on the edges but not going over, not exceeding over this areas. So we're just going to kind of center it and we're going to group it. Next, we're going to work on our left side. Our left side, I like to put things like thank you, um, you know, little, a little bit of decor, not over the top since she has a lot going on with the marble background. So she knew she wanted butterflies. So I found this butterfly and I cleaned up the image to make it. So I'm just going to insert all my images and again all these images I got from Google or Cricut Design Space. Please do not sleep on Cricut Design Space images. They have tons of images and all these images you can um, change the colors, you can make them your own. Like do not sleep on the Design Space images that they have already installed in their software so we're going to continue inserting our images and group all the images and don't forget to click it and go to center front with the nutrition facts you guys always do like a sample print that way you can see how your nutrition facts are going to fit on your page because it looks 
perfect here but sometimes when you print it comes out like really really big so if you don't want that then always make sure that you do a sample so I'm just doing all my little fillers I want to add sparkle so I found these cute little sparkle cutouts and I just want to duplicate them and make them all kind of show and then once we have everything we're going to group all the things together so now we have our front cover our right side and our left side so we're going to take the front cover kind of center it a little bit using our grid lines to kind of make sure that it's lined up and even and we're going to place all the images together so that it's one big image and once make sure that they're close together you guys okay so once we do all this we're going to highlight everything and we're going to press flatten now, by press flatten, it's going to let the Cricut know that everything we're going to, we want it all a print image. So everything, the only thing it's going to cut out are these outside parts. So we're going to go to size and we're going to make sure that our size is Cricut cut size, which is 9.25 and height 6.75. And we're going to go to the positions tab here. So you have size here and you have position here. You're going to type um, 9.25 and then 6.75 where the Y is. And I'm going to zoom out and let you see. It's just going to position it to where it's going to make sure that when it print, it's going to print out as much in as big so we can have all that room to fold our chip bags together so please make sure on your positions tab you put 9.25 and y 6.75 so we're going to go to make it and i'm going to show you how it's going to turn out on the mat it's print and cut it's going to cut out all of this when you put it in your machine and we're going to click continue, send to printer, and make sure, you guys, that your bleed is on. And for your system dialog, you always click system dialog because you want to make sure that it prints according to your printer settings that you chose to, excuse me, sorry, to get the best quality image. So, you guys, now that we have our image print printed it from our machine it comes out as a flat sheet we're going to need a bag of chips of your choice possibly scissors and this double-sided tape and also our paper crimper so to get started what i like to do is Take my double-sided tape, and I like to do the bottom portions. Like so. And I like to flip it over and do, yeah, it's going to be a little sticky, and do one side with the tape I lay it flat and I place my chips again this is a one ounce bag of chips um, this is the perfect size and you can use any flavor um, I play with them a little bit kind of manipulate them place them on my center image and then I'll do my sides first. 
And you kind of want to take your time because you want to make sure that it's even and not that many creases. You're going to take your top chip, like you're going to take this side and you're going to do the middle first and then the back. So you're going to do the middle first and then your other two edges. So this is the chip bag um, with the imperfections. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> now we're going to take our paper crimpler. Well, first, let's clean up the edges a little bit because oh, you don't want to get and have ugly edges and you can use those scissors the kind that let me kind of fix this you can use those scissors that cuts out crinkly that's really perfect too but hey or you can use regular scissors so now that your edges are clean. Let me just clean it up a little bit more. Because I really want it to look nice. So, now that we have it glued down, we're going to take it and we're going to put it inside our paper crimpler. And you want to kind of get it all in there at the same time and then you're going to go down about one time possibly to to your liking that's the bottom now we're going to do the top you want to get it all in there you can even use scissors if you have to to get it all in there and then you're going to go down maybe about two you're going to go down slowly I like to do it twice with that tape and doing the crimpler it really gets the things in there but I think the chip bag turned out awesome and again you can just take your phone Turn your camera on and focus here and it'll actually play this song so I think the chip bag came out really nice and please like subscribe comment for more videos